for you to go be slow. King of the jungle, cause you're in an MO. Time for you to go overload. Eat your competition alive, cause you're in an MO. What's my competition? Only me. Go head to head with my enemies and smash them to smithereens. Calisthenics burning calories. Bring that fire ready to blow up. Now we're the kerosene. You're a fighter, you're a fighter. Never gonna give up, never gonna back down. Take a look at this guy. If we're going to be superheroes, we got to stand like superheroes. You got to take it on, you know? <laughs> that is right. Welcome to Beyond the Blitz, week six of high school football in the books, and it was superhero oh my day. Gosh. So we are dressed as superheroes because we've got some super cool highlights mm -hmm. to show you. We're starting off with Mamel taking on the Robinson Senators. Of course, this is always a good one. These two in the same conference always going at it. We're going to start off with these highlights. We've got the Senators, of course, the home team taking the field here. I was also at this game. Lots of excitement there. Hornets kick off and the fumble is recovered right there by Mamel. Then we've got the Hornets again. This time it's quarterback Andrew Bjork. He just launches that thing off. Oh no, but it's intercepted by the Senators, Jacob Coleman. Great for the Senators though. And then near their own 30, Quinton Murphy Jr. just sees a hole and he just shoots up the middle and he just goes all the way. And his teammate gives him a high five. Of course, that's definitely worth the high five. It's six, nothing Senators. Then the Hornets, York feeds Jaden Warsham for a big gain and he's pushed out. Then at the goal line, it's a pitch to Elijah Newell and he squeezes right on in and it is a touchdown. 7-6 Hornets. McQuinton Murphy, he's at home. He wants to win and he goes up the middle. He's got those wheels. This time he's brought down at the 20 and then they finish that drive up with a touchdown right there for those Senators. It's 14-7. Murphy Jr. This time to Jason Barham. And check this out. He flips. Ouch. That would give me a headache. <laughs> Into the end zone. But hey, it's a touchdown. That's all that matters. It's 21 to 7. Senators and Robinson wins this 48 to 38. All right, let's go to Pine Bluff. Who wants to go to Pine Bluff? We're going to take you there now. Pine Bluff and Mills. A game last night that was a toss up. Here comes the Mills Comets onto the field. Pine Bluff Zebras on the attack. First possession, Marquez Bentley Jr. runs up the middle for a nice game. The Tubas love it. Three plays later, you've heard this name before, Courtney Crutchfield, throw it to Crutchfield. Down the field, touchdown. Seven to nothing, Pine Bluff, second quarter. Mills is gonna have to answer here. This game is a toss up, y'all. Look at the zebra, he's not taking him seriously, but he should. Achilles Ringo throws a swing pass to Javion Love. Nice pickup for the Mills, it's a Mills Comet. First down. A few plays later, the Comets cash it in. Caleb Sane, touchdown. Game is tied, 7-7. Seven to seven. This went into two overtimes. And Mills, who lost a heartbreaker the week before, won last night on a field goal, 24-21. to 21. Crazy game. All right, this time we've got two 7A teams battling out. Little Rock Southwest hosting the North Little Rock Charging Wildcats. All right, we've got Tyson Braddon, the quarterback, taking off. He goes right inside the five. And then North Little Rock. This time it's Javante Harris, and that's seven nothing for those charging Wildcats. Braddon, again, still in that same quarter, the first quarter. He sends it to Malachi Muhammad, and that is good for a first down. Takes a couple of Griffins to bring him down, all right. Then Braddon to Muhammad again, but check this out. Woo! Right there. And that makes it 14-0 North Little Rock. However, Little Rock Southwest, they're not backing down. That's Chase Forte to Logan White, and he is absolutely gone. I hope he's on the track team or something because he is just so hard to catch. Look how fast he is. And it's 14-6 for North Little Rock. Still leads though. Braddon to Jace White. Look at that pass, but it's just oh. short, they said. Or it's right on the one. So the Charging Wildcats try to finish it up, but they fumble it right there. And Southwest recovers. However, North Little Rock ends up winning this one, 44 to 13. 
All right, we're going to go to Mark Tree. I want to show you this game. Mark Tree is taking on Desart. Desart coming on the field. Actually, they're going to take a eight to nothing lead as quarterback Cash Flanagan cashes in eight to nothing. But look, next drive, Kenyon Carter for Mark Tree runs it in for six. They would get the two point conversion eight to eight. Beginning of the second quarter, Davion Bell takes the pitch, stiffs arms the defender, and is off to the races for a 50-yard score. Desark leads it 24 to 8. One minute left in the half. Davion Bell takes a sweep, blockers create space, takes it 65 yards, another Desark touchdown. It's 30 to 8. You think, ah, oh, Desark's running away with it. 30 seconds left in the half. TJ Hodges takes the handoff for a 30-yard touchdown run and two-point conversion. Desark leads it 30 to 14, but Mark Tree has momentum. Final seconds, Flanagan heaves it up there. Landon Lewis takes it all the way for a 70-yard pick six for Mark Tree. Listen to the final of this game. Here it is, 66 to 64, Desark beats Mark Tree. That's right. 66-64. All right, Aww. staying up in Northeast Arkansas, it was homecoming. Of course, Benton went all the way up to Greene County Tech, and this was another exciting one for Benton. They've got Braylon Russell there, of course, but that's Drew Davis connecting with Ilias Payne, and that man is gone. 69-yard touchdown, and it's 7-0 Benton Tech trying to get something going. Tyson Goodman scrambles and finds Tyson Cartwright, but he's held on for a few yards right there. And then Green County Tech again, trying to gain some yardage there, but Benton is just too good. Davis finds Braylon Russell, and I mean, it's hard to stop that kid. He breaks free and he's into Tech territory. Next play, Davis to Russell again. He, it just takes like five people to bring him down. I know, the whole it's town. crazy, it's crazy. That's why he's a Razorback commit. He, he's, he lifts weights like KJ Jefferson, right? And then Drew Davis to Maddox Davis. That Davis duo is strong, and he fights his way in for the Benton touchdown. Panthers up 21-0. But Green County Tech still trying to, you know, take down Braylon Russell, because what else do you do? You gotta try and take him down, but it's like impossible. Benton extends their lead. Davis to Payne, what a beautiful pass that is for the snag and score, and Benton wins this one. 63 to 7. Man. All right, I teased a little bit talking about how hard KJ Jefferson is to take down. That's why we're dressed as superheroes because he is a superhero and he's returning back to his home state of Mississippi, taking on rival Ole Miss tonight at 6 30. Of course, we're going to recap that game and tell you more about it later on Hog Zone tonight. You don't want to miss it, of course, and the Hogs do play at 6 30 River on SEC Network and hopefully the Racerbacks bring home a win.